Hello, this is Brian. Today, we're gonna to talk about the subject of censorship. Now, when our forefathers came over here, many of them came because they wanted the freedom to read the Bible. And there was a time in England where it was illegal to read the Bible in English, in your own language. Look at the picture of these women on the Mayflower. They gave their lives, giving body heat to their children so they wouldn't die. And many of the women died on that voyage to the new land here. Well, I'm gonna tell you another story. This is in Japan, where I grew up. Lived there close to 30 years. In 1620s, the Shogun, who's a ruling uh, power of Japan made it illegal to be a Christian. And if you're a Christian, you die. It's strange that they would do it by appointment. Many of the Christians did not run away. They'd have appointment to meet up with the samurai. They would kneel and they would die for their faith. Well, thousands and thousands were killed. But then the Shogun wasn't satisfied. He started thinking about all those Christians that are silent. They keep Christ in their heart, in their mind. So what they did, this is called Fumi E. Fumi is to step on this. E is art. This is a bronze of Mary, and they would have some of the cross in Jesus. And they would lay this on the ground, and they would say, Put your foot and rub your foot on that figure. Jesus. Or Mary. If you refuse, immediately you'll be executed. This was done all across the land. Some were uh, made out of this bronze, some were made like over here of paper. Now what is the parallel to our culture? How, how can they, those who want to censor the words of Jesus, figure out what we're thinking. It's easy. It's all there, it's on the internet. They know if you love Jesus. They know if you go to church. Now, <clears throat> they haven't knocked on our doors yet to tell us that we would be executed. It may never happen, maybe not in our culture, but we could lose jobs. There could be all sorts of ways of punishing it just makes you wonder, what is it they fear? What is it? If Jesus is just a fairy tale, why even bother? Maybe we won't get to the, that point. Maybe enough Christians will pray and God will make sure something like that doesn't happen. But it could. And I think the road we're on right now, it's a different road because it's more political, but it's still a slippery slope of censorship.